Hi everybody, Miss Clark here. I miss you guys all so much. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and your family members that you're with. Um, I know that everybody has a lot of concerns about everything that's going on right now, but I also know that you guys are really working hard to do your best and you guys are trying really hard to get your schoolwork done and be, you know, helpful around the house and with, you know, siblings and whoever else is there with you. So I wanted to take an opportunity, take this opportunity to do some school counseling lessons with you guys online. So I've created this video for you. This is our first lesson that we're going to do. And what I want to teach about is the practice of mindfulness. So I raise your hand if you've heard of the word mindfulness before. I have. Uh, mindfulness means that you are practicing and you're being aware of what's happening to your body physically, how your body feels and what's happening inside your body, what your thoughts are, so like in your mind, so what kind of you know things you're thinking and thoughts you're having and feelings that you're having, and then also um, being aware of what is going around on in your environment around you. So, I mean, it could be noticing the weather. It could be noticing, you know, the fact that we are all kind of you know, stuck at home doing our social distancing distancing that we're supposed to be doing. Um, just being aware of the environment around you, your space, all of that. So when you're practicing mindfulness and when you're beginning to you know, take the first steps into like, you know, creating a mindful lifestyle, one of the first things that you can do is plan to have like a daily mantra. So um, a mantra is a saying that we can repeat to ourselves to, like throughout the day that helps us to um, stay calm, kind of feel safe and grounded, and to help us have a positive outlook. So a mantra that I think that we could start with would be um, about starting the day fresh. So anything that's happened to you yesterday, uh, anything that happened, you know, maybe even real early this morning or whatever, you just, you'd start your day off with this mantra. Today is a new day. I can begin again. So that means every day is a new opportunity for you just to start over. So no matter what happened yesterday, no matter if it was a really bad day or just a mediocre day, or maybe you had some goals set for the day and you didn't quite get to them, well, guess what? Today's a new day. Start over and try again. Um, if we hang on to things that have happened in the past, then it's really hard for us to be able to move forward in life. So this is just a good little mantra to start off with here with all this going on. Um, and so I would like for us all to say it together. I'm going to try my best to put the words at the bottom of the screen. So we'll see if I can make that happen. So say it together. Today is a new day. I can begin again. And say it like you mean it because if you just say it to say it then it doesn't mean anything think about what it means to you to start over to have a fresh start every day the sun rose this morning blue skies hopefully it's a new day start it over make it whatever you want the day is yours so this is what we're going to work on for um, our first lesson so making sure that we're saying our mantra throughout the day. Today is a new day. I can begin again. Work on that mantra um, and think about what that means to you every day and practice it. Say it out loud. Think about how, you know, it was it hard for you to do that? Was it hard for you to say it? Was it hard for you to mean it? Was it actually hard for you to let go? And that's okay because we're just starting. Just as a reminder that on the school counseling corner um, on our our school's website, there's a school counseling corner, and I have some lessons posted up there, and there's also a Google check-in form. So for any of you who would like to check in with me, uh, please respond on the Google form, and it just says check in with Ms. Clark. Um, and I would love to hear from you all. I miss you all. I love you. Take care of yourselves, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.